Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be an updated gerbil toy collection video. I'm going to show you his hidey houses and his wheels as well because I think they count as toys. He enjoys playing on his wheels and he enjoys playing running in and out of hidey houses. And if you're worried about plastic toys, please don't. They're for supervised play only. And I like him to have plastic toys for when I'm watching them because they're easy to clean for one and it gives him a variation of toys because I think it's a bit boring if he has the same wooden natural toys all the time so giving, being able to give him plastic toys when he's being supervised is just something different and he really enjoys some of the toys especially the Heidi houses so that's why he's got some plastic toys but please don't worry and think that I'm going to let him have them without being supervised because I definitely won't. So first of all, Chip has these three hidey houses. I've got them all together because I'm pretty sure they're the same or similar brand or make or something like that. But he's got the strawberry, the orange and the lion and they are just so cute. And he absolutely loves these during playtime because they're so spacious. And again, they're really easy to clean so I really like them too. He then has this hidey house with a bowl attached to it and this has got to be his favourite hidey house. He loves it so much and of course it's natural which means it can go in his cage and I got this a few years ago from Pets at Home. He has a red silent spinner wheel. I actually have two wheels for Chip because it makes it easier to alternate them so that I can give them a good clean. I find that he uses the wheels a lot to go to the toilet so they get quite smelly easily. So I like to soak them so it means having two I can alternate them. So this is his red silent spinner and I'll show you everything in his cage in a second so you'll see his second wheel in a minute. He has this small wooden fiddlesticks bridge. He also has this plastic seesaw tunnel type thing and he doesn't use this as much now that he's older. He used to like it a lot when he was younger though. He has this stuffed log chew and toy type thing. He also has this metal ladder that I like to use in his playpen. He has one of the plastic igloos and this is a blue one and I absolutely love this. I wish it could go in his cage permanently but of course it's plastic so it can't but it is super cute. And then he has lots of little toys, so these are mostly chews and things like that. And there's natural ones and coloured ones and things like that. These ping pong balls here, he absolutely loves for supervised playtime. He loves chasing after them and pushing them around. And the same with the jingly toy. And then in his cage he has his second pink wheel. And this is, I think, an 8 inch wheel. And I'm pretty sure it's from Pets at Home, but I can't quite remember. He has this corner ledge that's did have some carrots in it, it's got one left and I also put treats here. He has this hanging candy cane chew and a hanging bird toy. He has three knobbly Noras, one in yellow, one in pink and one in blue and I use these as a ledge and he also enjoys chewing them. And he also has this pepper shaped hide, this is ceramic so it's safe for him and I like to hide hay and treats in this for him. And just also in the bottom of his cage he has this colourful fiddlesticks bridge, a rainbow bridge and a seesaw. He does also have lots of little chews but they're all over the place and we're dug in his tunnels so I'm not going to bother trying to find those but these are just the three big items that were either on top of the bedding or where I could see them. So those are all of Chip's current toys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you've got any toy recommendations for gerbils he has got a couple of, he's got things I would consider toys but also a form of play. He's got a big climbing frame and things like that. But because this video is about all of his little toys, I didn't include it. But if you have got any recommendations for smaller chews or toys or anything like that, then please comment down below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.